Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. We saw this, we decided to share with you open letter to Apostle Professor Ken mm, Nedumi Wakama. Dear Apostle Ken Wakama, this letter is written out of a deep concern for your soul and the impact your actions are having on those who look up to you as a spiritual leader as a man who carries the title of apostle the responsibility upon your shoulder is immense it is expected that you lead by example upholding the principles of righteousness integrity and moral uprightness yet there are grave concerns regarding your choice you have made the choice you have made and the path you currently walk apostle ken when will you repent of your sins the rumors and the accusations surrounding you are alarming it is said that you have been involved in inappropriate relationship with married women moving from one hotel to another with top rank hotel now allegedly bring your base being your base of operations this is not the behavior expected of a man of god how can you lead others to christ when your actions speak of a different allegation okay alliance your close association with individuals like uh, prince brenda princess brenda who is said to have ties to this hotel and chief akogu who is rumored to engage in dark practices only depends the concern the whispers of visits to juju places to hinder the progress of others are deeply troubling as someone who claimed to serve the almighty such actions if true are not just hypocritical but also spiritually dangerous remember no amount of manipulation or deceit can thwart god's will and he will ultimately bring justice further there are reports that you have resumed deceiving people with fake disbursement forms perpetrating falsehoods in the name of god this is a serious offense and it is written that god's judgment will be swift for those who lead his people astray it is said that god is soaking your king in kerosene and a metaphor for the severe punishment that awaits if you do not change your ways what about the women mentioned alongside you jennifer isaacs isaac princess brenda and the uh, adora adora is the daughter i think wow adora is the daughter these are allegations of adultery or is there another adol adora these are uh, these allegations of adultery adultery true if so consider the lives you are affecting the marriages you are destroying and the spiritual danger you are causing the title of lie of the moment has been attached to your name wow and this is and this is not something to be taken lightly it is a call for you to reflect deeply on your actions apostle ken the time for repentance is now seek forgiveness not just from god but from those you have scammed cleanse yourself of this wickedness and uh, return to the path of righteousness the god you serve is merciful but he is also just confess now do not wait until it's too late to make amends sincerely consigned nigeria so this is an open letter to apostle ken who decided to share it with you for me i just pray that god gives him the courage to come and address us and tell us which way because another grant have started again and people are still subscribing 
people are still subscribing so see on the other side we are bent on bringing you current information and if you follow us if you listen to us man you are advert making a lot of mistakes let us focus on the grants we have subscribed let us leave new ones let us leave new ones okay guys see you on the other side bye for now